just ain't got the fucking money. It's I'm wanting one of those reinforced like racing windshields that you can just bolt into place and shit and take out whenever it fucks up or anything. Dude, they're fucking expensive as hell. Eight, ten, twelve grand with the mounting kit and everything. I'm like, son of a bitch. So you got you got six EMF Ermagerd. EMF Audio Ermagerd 18. But you can't get a windshield. <laughs> you get a windshield. I blew all my uh, I blew all my money on my sound system, cuz. <laughs> what amp? Sound system, on? sound system, sound deadening, fucking uh, titanium bullet tweeters from fucking uh, from fucking Crescendo Audio. Fucking, I got five and a half and six and a half inch Crescendo Audio titanium bullet speakers that look exactly like that motherfucker right there and they fucking crash like hell dude <laughs> what amp you got on the subs uh it's actually yeah 12 amps i've got six master amps 9000 watt dc audio and six slave amp uh 6000.1 uh 6000.1 fucking uh audio pipe monoblock so you got i'm confused you got six of the DC 9Ks, one uh -huh. per sub, mm -hmm. and then the other six audio pipes are for the mids and highs? No, the six audio pipe, uh, the six audio pipe amps feed extra power into the 9Ks, so that way they push more power into each sub. For the speakers and tweeters, I've got the NVX audio mini amps that looks basically about the size of your cell phone. Oh. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I've... I blew all my money on my motherfucking, uh, cause I had a inheritance. One of my grandparents died, so I got left 150,000. And I basically blew my entire fucking inheritance on a vehicle, the sound deadening, the reinforcing, the sound system, every fucking thing, dude. Redid the fucking motor and the fucking blazer, turbocharger, fucking, uh, 65 Hello? i think it's a 65 millimeter twin yeah. turbo pack the fucking mouth on the fucking yeah. turbo blowers are like that big around on the fucking engine because okay, okay, in the back of that motherfucker i've got that big heavy wall it's an inverted wall where the subs face each other at an angle yeah. and it's got the arrow port right in between them and shit and that motherfucker whoo, one of these subs, I got each individual audio jack control knob per two amps, so I can control each individual sub at the same uh, at different intervals. Dude, I can turn up one of them fucking EMF audios and it damn near knocked the breath out of you. <laughs> so yeah, EMF audios no punk, dude. I'm, I'm straight up telling you, yeah. <laughs> they're not no fucking punk. I've got fucking Sean Ballinger is. <laughs> Some, hey, the owner might be, but the subs ain't. The owner and the company might be, but the products ain't no pump. <laughs> yeah. No pump. Word. But yeah, I need new uh, new recon kits I was thinking about getting. Uh, Did you blow one of them or all of them? No, I didn't blow any of them. I just want to make them more powerful. I want to be able to push more power through them and get more sound pressure because... Right now, I only push like 184, 184.45, something like that. On the meter? On Term Lab, dude. I pushed that last year on Slam, at Slamology on Term Lab, and that's how I fucking literally, my fucking windshield went from being mounted inside my fucking blazer to being on my fucking hood, dude fucking blew out and blew off onto my fucking hood in pieces. Uh, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. yeah you Shattered got, all my windows all the way around. Rear hatch window completely You got any videos off. of it? No? Like, I didn't have a I didn't have a camcorder, a smartphone, or any kind of a cell phone at the time because I actually had one, but it, it got cracked. <laughs> the fucking, I had it sitting in my center console just at like 15% volume level and the fucking phone's jumping around inside the center console and just fucking cracks the fucking screen all the hell dude. Thing. <laughs> we'll, we'll fix your screen. <laughs> that phone's gone dude. I, I traded that in. I traded that in to get the money to get this motherfucker right here. I traded that, uh, it was an iPhone and uh, 
that one phone that I brought in here to try to get fixed, the uh, Kyocera Hydro that I brought in here uh, a couple months or so ago to try to get fixed. Then the dude that was in here just told me that no. it's only a $65 phone, so it cost me like a hundred and something dollars to get the damn thing fixed, so it wasn't even worth fixing. Yeah. So I traded that in and my iPhone in and got the money to get this cheap. What's your, uh, what's your uh, voltage level on your amps and stuff when you're in your car? What, were they, were your they rest at? Your kilowatt power. Were they rest at? No, your, what? your kilowatt power. How much voltage are you pushing into the amps? Well, I, you know, it sits at 14 volts, but, uh, you know, the way I'm running right now, it drops to about 10. Ooh. Yeah. So. Have you ever tried running your batteries in series and in parallel? I got two batteries. That's why I'm standing here right now waiting on the UPS, man. <laughs> waiting on your Yeah, new I battery. got the wires ran. It's just I got to drop them and plug them in. For my extra battery. I don't have any voltage drop problems in my sound system because. What do you got for alternators? Fucking uh, 300 watt, uh, 300 amp Killermans. Who? Killermans? Killermans 300 amp alternators. Mm -hmm. Big yellow motherfuckers, fucking that big around, dude. <laughs> on a fucking, I got five of them on a mounting kit on a long. <laughs> My power steering pump, my fucking air conditioner compressor, my factory alternators on the opposite side of the fucking engine. It's got a whole new serpentine belt all the way around that motherfucker. And yeah, I had to put a lot of money and a lot of time and a shitload of work into that motherfucker. And now I can't even fucking use it. <laughs> yeah. What do you have for batteries at? I have fucking uh, big fucking diesel truck batteries fucking like that i forgot the fucking name of them but they're each one of them's like that and they're fucking that tall and i got them set all the way in the back and i got i've got the master amps on one rack and i've got the slave amps the small 6000 watt amps on a separate rack right here and they're running in together basically the 6000 watt amps are running into the 9k's and the 9Ks are running into each of the subs. And, oh, it's been hell. I've been trying to, I've been at least trying to go around trying to find a standard fucking windshield. Nobody has one. For uh, what year is it? It's a 2001 Chevy Blazer. See, those are a dime a dozen in junkyards. Yeah, at junkyards, but. You can get one for 75 bucks. Yeah, but you have to pull it out yourself. At pick apart, you have to pull it out yourself. And when you pull it out, you have to transport it. There's no guarantee. That's all you're waiting on is a, is a windshield? Windshield and windows. I got to completely make this motherfucker airtight and soundproof again. Because right now the windows are taped up with trash bags and the windshield has a big blue tarp over it and shit. So nothing. And it's setting, in, it's setting inside of a shop so that way nobody can go in and fucking steal my fucking audio equipment. Yeah. Because I've already had two N dash Clarion touchscreen radios stolen out of that motherfucker, so. You know, I've just been going through fucking hell with this damn thing. I need to try to get all my windows and my windshield. And when I get that motherfucker fixed, I'll pull up right out here out front and I'll rattle every window in this whole shop with just one of these 18s. I'll show you the power in them, dude. Yeah. We'll, be, <laughs> we'll be waiting. Oh, hell yeah. But yeah, it's good talking to you, man. All right, man. Hey, let me know if you get anything for uh, LG Realm, because I'm going to be in here checking to see if you guys got anything for, like, phone cases and screen protectors for LG Realm. All right, Bob. All right, man. I'll see you. Have a good day. See ya. That was interesting.